Hello everyone, here in this video we are going to see non-uniform bending cantilever. A cantilever is a beam which is held horizontally with one end fixed and the free end loaded. When the free end is loaded what happens the beam starts bending and the bending is said to be non-uniform because at all points on the neutral axis the radius of curvature is not same or it is not uniform that is why it is a non-uniform bending here in this video we are going to find the depression at the free end when it is loaded here we are considering a beam of length L the beams one end is fixed and the other end is kept free. Now as we load the free end the beam starts bending. Let A B be the neutral axis of the beam. So when we put the load W what happens the neutral axis changes to A B prime because of bending the neutral axis changes its position to a b prime. So we can see a depression at the free end from b to b prime and it is taken to be y. Now consider a small element p q at a distance x from the fixed end a. Um, r is the radius of curvature and we are drawing two tangents at uh, one at p and another at q. Normally in a cantilever the depression will be very small. It is not large like this. So the moment of deflecting couple at p b prime is is W into L minus X. The bending moment is Y I G by R where Y is the Young's modulus of the material and Ig is the geometric or second moment of inertia of the sectional area about the neutral axis and R is the radius of curvature. In equilibrium, the moment of deflecting couple and the bending moment are equal. So we can write W into L minus X is equal to Y I G by R. So let us take this equation to be 1. This is 2. So this is 3. So from this we can write R is equal to Y I G by W into L minus X. The radius of curvature at this point can be written as R is equal to 1 plus dy by dx the whole square the whole raised to 3 by 2 by d square y by dx square. Since the depression is very small dy by dx the whole square can be neglected when it is comp when compared to 1. So we get R as 1 by d square y by dx square. This is equation number 5. So substitute this value in equation 4. So we get
1 by d square y by dx square is equal to y i g by w into l minus x. Rearranging we get w l minus x by y i g is equal to d square y by d x square or we can write it as d square y by d x square is equal to w into l minus x by y i g. So, this is equation number 7. So, we want depression of this beam. So, integrating this equation twice we get the depression y. So, we are going to integrate this equation. So, we get dy by dx is equal to weight is constant and y i g is are constant. So, integration dx which is equal to w by y i g into l x minus x square by 2 plus a constant of integration c 1. Now, we want to find the value of c 1. So, this is equation number 8. So, to find the constant of integration c 1, we are going to take boundary condition. So, at x is equal to 0, dy by dx is 0 because there is no depression at this point. So, at x is equal to 0, dy by dx is equal to 0. So, we, when we substitute this in this equation 8, we get c1 is equal to 0. So, this exp expression becomes dy by dx is equal to w by y i g into l x minus x square by 2. Again, we are going to integrate this equation. So, we get so, this is equation number 9. We are going to integrate again equation 9. So, we get y is equal to w by y i g integral of l x minus x square by 2 into dx. So, when we integrate we get w by y i g l x square by 2 minus x cube by 6 plus c 2 the constant of integration. So, this is equation number 10. Here again the c 2 is the constant of integration and we want to find this value at x is equal to 0 the depression y is equal to 0 here. So, substituting in this equation we get c 2 is equal to 0. So, the expression becomes y equal to w by y i g l x square by 2 minus x cube by 6. Now, when x is equal to l that is at this free end, when x is equal to l, y is equal to delta this depression y is equal to delta. So, we can write, so this is equation, equation number 11. So, at x is equal to L, y is equal to delta. So, this equation 11 becomes delta is equal to w by y i g 
into L cube by 2 minus L cube by 6 which is W by Y i g 2 L cube by 6 that is W by Y i g L cube by 3. So, this gives the depression at the free end when a load is uh, load of weight W is uh, added at the free end. Now, we are going to see the special cases. First is for the rectangular cross section. For a rectangular cross section, we saw in the last video Ig is equal to Bd cube by 12. So, substituting this in equation number 12, we get delta is equal to W by Y Bd cube by 12 into L cube by 3 that is 4 W L cube by Y Bd cube. So, this is for rectangular cross section. Next is the circular cross section. Here Ig is equal to R raise to pi R raise to 4 by 4. So, substituting this in equation 12 we get delta is equal to 4 by 3 W L cube by Y pi R power throw. So, this gives the depression of the mean for a circular cross section. So, equation 12 gives the depression of the beam at the free end having a load W. Here W is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity G. So, is using this equation 12, we can also find the Young's models of the material. By rearranging this equation, we can also find the Young's models of the material. Thank you.